How are you doing these days? It's so cold in New York City. It's minus 7 Celsius. Today is my kimchi day. Kimchi making day and 10 pounds of cabbage here. And then also I bought extra cabbage. Today's recipe is Baechu Doenjangku. Cabbage Doenjangku. Doenjang. Doenjang is a Korean fermented soybean paste. I like to make it kind of not salty and they eat a big bowl of soup so that my body temperature go up. Then I can go out this afternoon. <laughs> this is rice and I'm going to collect some milky rice water to here. Just in case it has some dirt and then I need to remove this. I gotta rinse it out. Throw away. Let's get rid of all dirt. Now I'm going to scrub this way. Then, cold water, kind of some white water, white color. So we call this tummul. Let's get some tummul. Seven cups. I'm boiling water right now because I like to blanch this. So I'm going to split this all leaves. Two pounds of cabbage. When I make this soup, I really want to choose outside of cabbage. It should be really dark green because it's kind of a little tough and we make this soup and make it soft. Lots of nutrients inside. Let's blanch. Little bit salt, leaf and stem. Stem first. Just one minute is enough. I just blanched one minute and let's wash. Let's wash all dirt. So cabbage, blanched the cabbage and I washed it nicely and then just uh, I have to chop it up. I usually chop this really small pieces. And put this into pot. The reason I blanch this to make it soft easily, you can swallow and chew, and but kind of tender plus a little crispy. I love to add lots of garlic. Six large garlic cloves. And Green chili pepper, this is serrano pepper. I use one or two. I like to use just only one, just in case it's too spicy. So I need doenjang. I have my homemade doenjang. I always, I use that doenjang whenever I make a soup, but how many people can use homemade doenjang? You know, so I always develop my recipe with store-bought stuff. Always press down the surface.
I don't make it really salty. So just a doenjang is salty. So you can add more or less. I think you may need more later and taste. So I use just a quarter for two pounds of cabbage. And after using doenjang and just like this and one more plastic bag and keep in the refrigerator. Make this soup savory, I use anchovies, dried anchovies, nine anchovies here, large size dried anchovies, and remove the head and press down, and then there's a gut, remove, like this, and then 10 dried anchovies. So be ready here, and then I'm going to just mix this by hand, like this. Mixing together, this is very important because it is all incorporated. And this cabbage is kind of salty and savory later. It tastes much better. Then add, instead of water, rice water. We need these guys to make it savory. Cover and over medium high heat, 15 minutes. 15 minutes passed, let's see. And turn down the heat to medium. Cook another 15 minutes. I love this aroma. This smells so good. Like a kind of earthy and really nutty kind of smell. Duenjang smell. So good. Always remind me of a good memory that when I was young. When I was a junior high school, I was raised in Harbor City. And just uh, my next door, the woman alone, she was uh, running a restaurant. She made that early morning, big, huge pot filled with this soup. So around 4 o'clock, 4 a.m., she's uh, ready to bring the customers. And then people are workers, you know, the fishermen, and then some people carry some heavy stuff, and also, you know, all kinds of uh, people who related to seafood business. And these people are coming. What she did was like a large bowl and then this soup. And then before giving them just only one spoon of rice, you know, barley rice, and put it there and then give it to them. That price is a really, really cheap price. And then the people are just, you know, they are usually early morning always cold and then after eating, and then they are ready to go out for hard work. They feel satisfying and never hungry, and body temperatures warm up. I remember always waking up early morning with this smell. This smell made me go crazy. Oh, it smells so good, so delicious smell. <laughs> so this, this guy. Oh, anchovy, you did a good job. And mix. So lots of cabbage, right? So this big bowl of soup and a little bit rice. Mm. Sweet, sweet. Soup is already a little milky because of we use the tummul, the water from rice washing. Nice. And make it, you know, consistency a little bit like thick. You can add some gochujang here. When this is boiling, add just a little bit gochujang and mixing together. Color is a little reddish and that's also delicious. Oh. So today I showed you how to make Korean traditional pechu doenjangku, cabbage doenjangku. Enjoy my recipe. See you next time. Bye.